Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be showcasing the new features in Switch 2019 Spring Release. The first thing we would like to show you is the complete redesign of Switch messages in the web portal. This redesign is based on feedback from our users and makes it extremely easy to find the messages you are looking for. You can easily search by type of message and use the timeline to narrow down the time frame of the search. Each red line in the timeline is an error message, so you can quickly narrow down the search for errors using the timeline and see what was happening immediately before and after the error. You can also select text in any message and use the search filter to find messages containing that text. This can also be applied to specific columns. The following improvements were also added to dashboards. When viewing a job board, it is now possible to click on a job to see all related messages. It is now much easier to create live counters as they no longer require a separate job board for each widget. Simply select the job board and then select the column you want to show on the counter. Where previously all columns of the board were shown in the counter, now you can select only the column you want from the pull-down list. Pie charts now support custom colors. For example, problem jobs can now always be shown in red. Another improvement to the pie chart is the option to show the column names as labels instead of the default label, jobs. And a final addition to the dashboard widgets is the ability to show target lines on historical graphs. This is helpful if you want to show a target on manual interactions by showing the number of jobs that went through a checkpoint, or when showing the failed versus successful preflights. There is a new way of submitting jobs to switch in 2019. When using Submit Point, previously you either submitted a job or a job with metadata. This release introduces the feature to submit metadata only or to only send a trigger to switch via submit point. Both options are very useful if you want to execute database queries or inject jobs from a repository using the inject job element. Also new in this release is the feature to create URLs and assign a collection of submit points to them. The URL will then show a simplified view of the web portal showing the selected submit points. You can also disable authentication and set an expiration date if you want to share the URL with users that do not have a Switch user account. A very powerful but very technical new element in Switch is the remote process element. This allows external services to be notified when a job arrives at the element. After receiving the notification, the external process can then download and process the job before updating the job in Switch and or reporting back to Switch to continue on with processing. This allows developers to develop custom services in any programming language as long as it supports communication over HTTP or HTTPS. All features of the remote processing element are also available in the scripting API for script writers and app developers. Another improvement is to the inject job element. The inject job now has a fail option where previously jobs would go to the problem jobs folder. Now they will go to the fail connection if it is configured. In this example, the repository contains six jobs, but seven jobs are submitted to the inject job flow. You will see the missing job goes to the fail connection. Another improvement to the inject job element is the ability to configure custom names for the injected job. The last new feature to show you is in the script element. Now, if you edit a script, upon starting the flow that uses the script, you will get a warning that a change was detected.